traveler of sorts, so I didn't really know how I was going to go about doing that. And uh, I've always been involved in, in some sort of music, whether it be singing at church, being in theater, uh, choir, eventually rock and roll bands, this, that, and the other. At a certain age, I guess it was right around uh, you know 21, 22 years old. You realize that you, you know, you only got so many days uh, before your eyes close for that final time. You know, uh, so I, I like to keep moving. I want to see as much of this planet and maybe a couple others if it's possible. You know, and, uh, and when I when I when I stop in the same place for too long, you really start to feel the earth spinning. I had been working on the farm my whole life, you know, so uh, I was looking for really any excuse to do some traveling. I uh, just felt like I'd been sitting still. The place I spent the most time is Alaska. That's my like home away from home. It's a beautiful place. It's a good place to get lost in and uh, to find yourself. And uh, it really broadens your sense of uh, what the world is and how people live, man. Because it's very different from around this part, so that's for sure. It changes a lot just in our country. Driving across the country from here to Alaska, it changes, it changes so many times. I guess. Once I realized that I needed to start traveling, the music turned towards folk music because that made sense. You know? and it made sense to be a hobo, hopefully ride on a train somewhere, pick it on a, you know, a six string. That was like my ideal situation. I was reading people like Jack Kerouac. I was reading Edward Abbey. I was reading you know, you know Neil Cassidy. I was reading about these people who were great travelers. And uh, I wanted to put music behind it. I grew up with my my father playing the Red Clay Ramblers, the seldom seen, the strange like fiddle style bluegrass and uh, really weird folk people like uh, John Prine and uh, uh, Robert Earl Keane, old country acts. And so I got in my twenties and this that and the other. I, I really started to grasp that music because I, I appreciated it. I understood why people made that music. I worked out in the out on the farm and then, you know you start to earn earn your keep and you want to you know start earning your music too. You want to work for it. That's where that's where the folk comes in. That's where the country comes in. That's where uh, that's who I am. I guess one of the special things about traveling is, you know, the friends I've made and the connections, you know. And I think today, if I had not met these people, you know, who, who would I be, you know, you know, where would I be? I wouldn't, would I still be happy? Because, then, you know, that's a, that's a good question. But, uh, it's, it's a great feeling. If I can make albums independently and make a living off of it, that's what I want to do. And write songs for people who would appreciate them. I'm not about the glitz and the glamour as I get older. More about the stories. It's all about the stories and finding new ways to tell them.